Real Ashiras means you could do with your time, do with your life what you want to do. Real Ashiras doesn't mean gaudy, doesn't mean putting up chandeliers, doesn't mean showing people how rich I am. Look at me, I'm rich. What, what does that have to do with the, with the Torah? What does that have to do with anything? If Hashem grants you wealth, use it. And use it appropriately. If you have extra wealth, you could use it for stuck of projects. And extra wealth, you could use your time as you wish to. That's great. But I never saw anywhere the idea that if you grant the great wealth, you should live in a big fancy home. All right. Nebuch, if you, you know, if you ask me, is it wrong, if you could really afford it, is it wrong? I would say, I don't know if it's right or wrong. I would say this. I would say it's not fair to your kids. Let's assume I had $100 billion. More modest, $100 million, let's say, right? And, and I actually cared about my children. I wouldn't possibly build a mansion. Why? Because I'm destroying them. You know what it's like? I was a high school Rebbe for many years. And there was one kid in the class whose dad was rich. And the kid was, it was a nebuch. The poor kid, it was a nebuch. Everyone spoke to him because he's the rich kid in the class. He's got the fancy home. And you're ruining your kid. And by the way, the amount of problems that rich kids have, and you look at the depression rate, and you look at the problems, even if you feel it's not going to destroy you, and even if you feel you want it, have Rahmanis on your kids. Don't do it to them. Don't destroy them. So the answer to your question is yes, there is a concept of using your wealth in that way, but it's not a Jewish concept.